Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ in you, the hope of glory. This is the Gospel we proclaim. Grace, mercy and peace be with you. Welcome to our online worship for the second Sunday of Advent. Isaiah assures us of a God who brings comfort and consolation to his people. And Peter in his letter says, because the time seems long, we should not be fooled into thinking that the day of the Lord is delayed, because a thousand years is like a day to God. In our Gospel reading we hear the message of John the Baptist, that Jesus will come after him and will baptise with the Holy Spirit. As we gather to worship, here in church or in our homes, we await the coming of the Lord, and as we wait we know that he is with us. Through word and sacrament he heals us and draws us into fellowship with him and with one another. Prepare a way for the Lord, make his path straight. So let us listen and turn to the Lord in penitence and faith. Turn to us again, O God, our Saviour, and let your anger cease from us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Show us your compassion, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Your salvation is near for those that fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. May the God of love bring you back to himself, forgive you your sins, and assure you of his eternal love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray that we may be ready for Christ when he comes. Almighty God, purify our hearts and minds, that when your Son Jesus Christ comes again as Judge and Saviour, we may be ready to receive him, who is our Lord and God, our God, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the prophecy of Isaiah. Console my people, console them, says your God. Speak to the heart of Jerusalem and cry to her that her period of service is ended, that her guilt has been atoned for, that from the hand of the Lord she has received double punishment for her sins. A voice cries, prepare in the desert a way for the Lord. Make a straight highway for our God across the wastelands. Let every valley be filled in, every mountain and hill be levelled, every cliff become a plateau, every escarpment a plain. Then the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all humanity will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice said, cry aloud. And I said, what shall I cry? All humanity is grass, and all its beauty like the wild flowers. The grass withers, the flower fades, when the breath of the Lord blows on them. The grass is surely the people. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God remains forever. Go up on a high mountain, messenger of Zion. Shout as loud as you can, messenger of Jerusalem. Shout fearlessly, say to the towns of Judah, Here is your God. Here is the Lord God coming with power. His arm maintains his authority. His reward is with him, and his prize precedes him. 
He is like a shepherd feeding his flock, gathering lambs in his arms, holding them against his breast, leading to their rest the mother ewes. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the second letter of Peter. There is one thing, my dear friends, that you must never forget, that with the Lord a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years like a day. The Lord is not being slow in carrying out his promises, as some people think he is. Rather, he is being patient with you, wanting nobody to be lost and everybody to be brought to repentance. The day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then with a roar the sky will vanish, the elements will catch fire and melt away, the earth and all that it contains will be burned up. Since everything is coming to an end like this, what holy and saintly lives you should be living while you wait for the day of God to come, and try to hasten its coming. On that day the sky will dissolve in flames, and the elements melt in the heat. What we are waiting for, relying on his promises, is the new heavens and new earth, where uprightness will be at home. So then, my dear friends, while you are waiting, do your best to live blameless and unsullied lives, so that he will find you at peace. Think of our Lord's patience as your opportunity to be saved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Alleluia. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. It is written in the prophet Isaiah, Look, I am going to send my messenger in front of you, to prepare your way before you. A voice of one that cries in the desert, Prepare a way for the Lord, make his paths straight. John the Baptist was in the desert, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. All Judea and all the people of Jerusalem made their way to him. And as they were baptised by him in the river Jordan, they confessed their sins. John wore a garment of camel skin, and he lived on locusts and wild honey. In the course of his preaching he said, After me is coming someone who is more powerful than me, and I am not fit to kneel down and undo the strap of his sandals. I have baptised you with water, but he will baptise you with the Holy Spirit. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> We're all familiar with the idea of John as the predecessor, the forerunner, the one who comes before Jesus, preparing his way, proclaiming his baptism of repentance and calling the people to prepare for the coming of the Lord, who will come soon. And John points always to Jesus and never to himself. He's not important. He's simply a prophet, simply the one who is called to prepare the people. Not the one who will bring salvation, not the one who brings the hope of new life, not the one who brings the forgiveness of sins, but the one who calls people to look for him. And John is a good example to us as we live in our modern world where, to be honest, most people seem indifferent at best to the gospel of Jesus Christ and at worst openly hostile and critical 
of those who are his followers and of the truth that we hold about Jesus and what he has achieved. But John shows a, a resilience, a commitment to the message. We see this commitment not only in the message itself, but in the way in which he proclaims it. He withdraws away from the cities, away from the towns, away even from the villages, to live in the wilderness, in the desert, away from human habitation away from people and calls them to him and his preaching his witness to Jesus looks both backwards and forwards backwards in that it recalls the message of the greatest of all the prophets or at least the prophets of whom we have a book Isaiah The message that he preaches, prepare a way for the Lord, is Isaiah's message too. And it's a message that has resonated and run through the ages for the people of Israel. Prepare for the coming of the Lord. Prepare for the day of the Lord. Prepare for the time when God will come to judge and redeem his people. And that's John's message. But John's message now has an urgency because the time is very close. And indeed, he points to Jesus, most especially in John's Gospel, but in the Gospels too where his baptism of Jesus is recalled, where John confesses that he's not fit to undo the strap of his sandal, that he's not fit to baptise Jesus, but should be baptised by Jesus himself because Jesus has no need of the forgiveness of sins. And in John's Gospel, of course, pointing to Jesus and saying, look, there is the Lamb of God who will take away the sins of the world. John commits himself to proclaim that message and nothing else. He's not distracted or drawn away from that message but just focused on it because the time is urgent Jesus is among us and he's proclaiming that baptism of repentance just as Jesus comes out of his childhood and young adulthood to begin his ministry and he comes to John he comes to John to be baptised. He comes to John to mark the beginning of his, in, of his ministry. And from there, John fades into the background. His work done. The people who have heard his message are preparing themselves for the coming of Jesus. And we need to be similarly focused on proclaiming the gospel, sharing the good news, witnessing to Christ, pointing not to ourselves but to Jesus, just as John does. And our message will be very similar. Prepare the way of the Lord, for Christ is coming. And it's a message that has run through the centuries of the Christian witness and continues to be proclaimed now. And those who hear it are blessed indeed. Prepare a way of the Lord. Make his paths straight. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now affirm our faith. We say together in faith, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. We believe in God the Father who created all things. 
for by his will they were created and have their being. We believe in God the Son, who was slain, for with his blood he purchased us for God, from every tribe and language, from every people and nation. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, the Spirit and the Bride say come. Even so, come Lord Jesus. Amen. Watchful at all times, let us pray for strength to stand with confidence before our Maker and Redeemer. That God may bring in his kingdom with justice and mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That God may establish among the nations his scepter of righteousness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may seek Christ in the Scriptures and recognise him in the breaking of the bread. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That God may bind up the brokenhearted, restore the sick and raise up all who have fallen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That the light of God's coming may dawn on all who live in darkness and the shadow of death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That with all the saints in light, we may shine forth as lights for the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of our Heavenly Father. Almighty God, as your blessed Son, Jesus Christ, first came to seek and to save the lost, so may he come again to find in us the completion of his redeeming work. For he is now alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. God will speak peace to his people, to those who turn to him in their hearts. The peace of the Lord be always with you.
they spread, were scattered and then gathered and made one. So may your church be gathered into your kingdom. Glory to you, O God, forever. Wisdom has found her a house. She has mixed her wine. She has set her table. Glory to you, O God, forever. God of hope, renew in us the joy of your salvation and make us a living sacrifice to you for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good to give you thanks and praise, Almighty God and Everlasting Father, through Jesus Christ your Son. For when he humbled himself to come among us in human flesh, he fulfilled the plan you formed before the foundation of the world to open for us the way of salvation. Confident that your promise will be fulfilled, we now watch for the day when Christ our Lord will come again in glory. And so we join our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven to proclaim your glory, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Peter and St. Paul, St. Andrew, St. Margaret of Antioch, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The body of Christ broken for us. The blood of Christ shed for us. Jerusalem, turn your eyes to the east. See the joy that is coming to you from God. Father in heaven, who sent your Son to redeem the world and will send him again to be our judge, give us grace so to imitate him in the humility and purity of his first coming that when he comes again, we may be ready to greet him with joyful love and firm faith. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God of new beginnings, you draw near to us in word and sacrament to strengthen and renew us. 
Kindle in us the fire of your Spirit. May your light so shine through us that all may welcome your Son at his coming. We ask this in the name of Jesus Emmanuel. Amen. May God himself, the God of peace, make you perfect and holy, and keep you safe and blameless in spirit, soul and body for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. As we await our coming Saviour, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ.